Okay, so for the actual model estimation, we're not going to go through the manual process of doing a first stage, predicting education based on the instruments, and then using the predicted version of education, um, because that's tedious. Um, and you went through the process earlier, you'll be doing it in your problem set, you'll get experience with that. So instead, we're just going to do the actual model estimation here. And we're just going to use the IV robust function to do this. So we will say model actual, and this will be not LM, but IV underscore robust. So here our outcome that we care about is wages. And so what we can do is come here and say wage, because I think that's the name of the column. Yep, there's our wage column. So we say wage is explained by education. If we left it there, that would be wrong because that is the correlation is not causation naive version of the model. We're not adjusting for anything. Um, education there is endogenous. There are unmeasured confounders there, um, and that will be wrong. So instead, we want to use an instrument so that we can remove the endogeneity from education here. So we'll do that using this up and down symbol, which is the key above your enter key. Um, and we're going to use the instrument. We're using two different instruments, um, which I can't remember what they're called again. Um, education underscore mom and education underscore dad. So if we come back here, we're going to say education underscore mom plus education underscore dad, but no spaces there, dad. And the data set is called ed real. And we want to see the results of it. So we'll say tidy model actual. And let's run it like this. And there is our result. So what this shows is that an additional year of education causes your wage to go up, I think this is um, dollars per month. So an additional years of a year of education causes your wage to go up by $111 per month. And we can say cause because we used instrumental variables to remove the endogeneity from education. And this is all, all we're left with here is the exogenous part of education. Um, and so that is the actual causal effect. Um, just for fun, we can run the naive model to see how off it is um, with the actual true causal effect here. So we'll call this one model naive. Um, and this is going to be LM. Wage is explained by education. And then the data was ed real. And let's look at the results here. Tidy model naive. So if we run that, so when we don't make any adjustments for endogeneity, the effect here, the fake effect, is that a year of education causes your wages to go up by $59 a month. But that's not right because there are unmeasured confounders. And so by using instruments to remove the endogeneity from education, what we're left with is the true, hopefully, um, effect of education on earnings, where here it was 59 um, now it's actually 111, assuming those instruments are correct. If they're not, then that's going to be wrong. Um, but that's kind of a better estimate than just this naive correlation is not causation effect. And so that's how you can use two stage least squares um, with um, IV robust instead of doing the long arduous process of um, making the first stage, generating predictions, and then running the second stage. So IV robust is definitely the way to go.